it's Mr. Drew, yeah. Drew, 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 Welcome back, welcome back, welcome. Yeah, see, I'm feeling myself. My 192 subscribers and I are saying, Welcome, 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 baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going on a low day, that day. So get ready with me while we go on the day, shall we? I think Alan Baby from Love Island. Cache. Cache baby. That's why I learned baby. <laughs> Hello baby. Ew. <laughs> if I tell you the stress I went through last week, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Having minimal enjoyment. Yeah. And I had like gigantic, gigantrous pimples. But now it's a little bit okay. Let's get into the video. I'll be listing my products down below. It's not really like. Like in supernatural products that is just regular product um let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk been a minute i know right i know i know i know i know baby <laughs> i um how you call it um I don't know where to start from. I shot content. It was one particular day, right? I shot three, three content. I wanted to start being consistent, start being responsible. I know I hate this hood, the ghetto, adulthood. Adulthood is the ghetto. I hate it. When you see me look on this side, my mirror is on this side, okay? Excuse me. But. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? I shot three videos, y'all. Three freaking videos. But and I didn't know about SD card reader, right? SD card reader kind of makes you importing your your footage from your from your camera to your laptop easier, cause writing your laptop sd drive so like boom drop boom like drag drag and drop drag and drop drag from your folder and drop it in your final cut pro that's way easier save time but if you don't have that and you, you don't have the sd card reader and you have to like transfer it from your camera to your laptop and it takes hours worse like six to nine i'm not kidding yo i didn't know about sd card reader so that's what i was doing so one time i was doing that i came back tomorrow comes ready to transfer the footage only to tell me no image no image oh i i was persistent for like three days still no image now i have to find other sources other ways to get my images my footages back and you know what what pisses me off i just made watch i don't know if you're not ghanian ghanian a watch is like rice and beans but you you cook them together and it becomes watch i cooked it i i filmed the whole process so i wanted to show you guys that sometimes i'm a i'm a wife i could cook like a three course meal you know you know what i'm saying right but i love that footage i only have the pictures i couldn't retrieve it and tell me how i bought a software for 59.99 60 dollars and i still couldn't retrieve my my videos i could retrieve let's say like one minute two minutes 
like a sat down a, a sit down video that was like more minute i couldn't retrieve it so meaning i lost my watch content so I'll, I'll do another watch here again okay but i still need someone to help me because someone to hold the camera on the food whilst i like i dish it out or i'm staring it or something you know and my brother who's supposed to help me he's not here he went on a vacation a little vacation yeah no no really vacation but like it's uh, he went to my cousin's place so uh, so yeah so i lost all those footage Yo, I, I didn't cry i didn't cry but like i was like really really like not pissed but like not nah, shimmy not nah, shimmy pa. like i was really hurt like i was really really hurt because one day like this is just one time that i'm being like today i'm doing like, and it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> so yeah so me again back again trying to be consistent shooting content i hope everything goes right this time i'm tired yo this year has been a hectic crazy yeah so let's get this glam going on whilst we go for our little date in, in the evening can we can we talk about men men one thing men have is the audacity audacity i just recently found out right that men literally tell you what they want from you right from the onset maybe not from the first convo but like trust me the second third convo he's going to tell you what he likes or what he looks forward to with you trust me but most of the time right but because let's say the person is a little bit pink dark chocolate so all down so you don't really even though when you see the red flag it, it appears like pink or orange to you but that is it they, they will tell you you'll be like let me give you let me give you an example last time right I said I'm gonna buy flowers for myself. I never buy flowers for me. I always buy flowers for my parents. I remember I bought flowers for my ex boyfriend when his dad died. I didn't know what to buy. I bought flowers. So I buy flowers, but I never bought flowers for me. Okay. So I'm like today. Let me buy flowers for me. So I was crossing the road and this Ghanaian man. He was like, "Mommy, it's the same." I'm like, hey yo, I didn't see him, but I heard him say I was going this way, he was going that way. Then he came back my way. I was like, wonderful. He, he was like, I'm I'm beautiful and he wants to be my friend. And can I pass by his house someday? I, 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 are you normal? Are you are you normal? Are you normal? Pass by your day, come and cook for you. Me, that's why me, me, I cook for men. Too oh, big. So from right from what he's saying, he's telling you to come over, and we already know when men tell us to come over, we know what what, what else it it leads into. So right from the back, he has told me what he want. He has told me what he will be doing. So this is if somebody you don't like, like straight off, like boom, cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Shut up and bend over. So I knew that mm -mm, this, is, this is not it. Mm -mm. And, he, and because he wasn't my spec, so like, like when he was talking, I was like, because he's not my spec, whatever he said, when he said that, it sounded like, I don't want to hear it, you know? Right. But if he was your spec, he might have overlooked that. Because you think he's, you think he looks nice. You think he has six pack. You think, you know, you are all those fantasies, everything. But for me, I saw it because he's not my spec. So may God help us, so that when men that are dead to waste our time, we can detect it and take them out. Yeah. 
and one thing men love is we being psycho when a woman is all psycho over him coming to his house acting all psycho all of that men love it men do love it they, they, they don't say it but they love it putting on a little drama all of that they love it they love it I'm not going no psycho for no man because when you go psycho for him chance of you being stuck on him is high and most of the time those relationships are toxic toxic we've had enough toxic relationships in our life I don't know about you but I like a soft life please I'm tired of this hard busy life so you don't want an, a man to come and add another stress to it please we've had enough stress in our lives at this point sometimes I'll be like wait are these men the men left are these the men we are going to marry like half of these men ah I cringe I can't wait to find men out of my tax bracket yo cuz those men in my tax bracket, mm mm, no no. Me, I I'm I I'm uh, I'm a big I'm big on fine men that you genuinely like. Cause at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, you didn't settle for less. Cause you can't settle for somebody who wasn't your type. And at the end of the day, it, you the chance of you getting played is high. You get played and he wasn't your type and now what you get played twice no i've done that mistake i'm not doing that mistake again i'm only going for men i genuinely like if i don't like you kaboom i'm not because i'm going for men i genuinely like myself so it doesn't feel like i'm settling if it doesn't work out all right these people they know what they're doing um, trust me, they know what they're doing. I, we all know what we're doing, actually. I mean, we know what we're doing in the sense that we all have choices to, to make. And we choose to who we talk to every day. I could call you right now and you could choose not to pick my call. Or you could choose, let's say, it was a, you didn't see the call, right? So you, when, when, you, when you see the call, like a missed call, you could choose to call me back. Or you choose to, choose to call your friend and chit-chat with your friend and not me. You know, it's all choices. If men can make choices on who they want, who they love, who they f with, whoever they, whatever it is, we women can make choices too, baby. Yeah. So today I'm here to tell you go for men you like. And. If you like somebody and think he has the potential and whatever whatever and you want to stick with him hallelujah but if you think you found a rich man or you found some man with some and you like him please don't let society make you whatever it is unless maybe he's a married man married man that you have to like mm. but if you have some I beg but I, I know people hate this saying better to grind a rose right whatever but I'm I'm going with that saying because at the end of the day if it doesn't work you want to be crying in a rose right you don't want to be crying in, in, in a bus please we are actually done with struggling love black women we are always always are always settling for struggling love Hoping he'll make it, he'll make it, and you, you won't, you would even look at you. He'll make him like you're not my type. You make it, and he doesn't. Even, no, no struggling. Like if you think he has the potential, you think when you guys make it, he's not gonna do all of that. Good for you, sweetie. But if you find somebody and think you, and the person has some, I bet go for it. Please, don't lose no chances. This struggling love takes us nowhere. Ekojai on kwenzifi, kwenzifi. Today I'm not doing like like so much look. I'm I'm not going with no foundation. It, oh, it's a date, <laughs> so I need all of that, right? I'm th I think that's fine. If you don't like me, that's fine. But 
watch your mouth yo this has been living rain free in my head if you don't like me that's fine but watch your mouth um if you don't like me that's fine but you know watch your mouth and i found a new way when i apply this with my setting powder it it doesn't look flawless like when you apply a brush i tried it and love it i'm not saying go be a gold digger i'm just saying go for men you genuinely like if he has money don't be intimidated by the money go for him because at the end of the day you might get played and you want if you are getting played you, have, you might as well get played and gain something from it don't you get played and at the end of the day when you are i'm too tired of taking broke ass niggas i know in, in a sense of i'm saying that that doesn't mean you as a woman you don't have to like go find yours or go strive for yours be working on your goals try to make some little money on the side for yourself so you don't have to like depend on depend on a man like like fully depend you know like get something on the side for yourself get a job sell something do something if you don't like me that's fine but watch your mouth apart from that how you guys doing uh, oh my god how you doing like if i say how you doing i'm not like the regular how you doing and i'm good no i'm actually like how are you really doing how is your mental health doing are you enjoying some time in the sun are you enjoying some time with your loved ones are you having orgasm <laughs> I do stuffs you love how are you fighting these demons if you don't like me that's fine but watch your mouth you know it's, it's hot outside so I'm not trying to do too much so I went without a foundation look today it still looks good right if you don't like me that's fine but watch your mouth one thing before I forget I want to be trying new stuff so I'll be trying new challenges new stuff okay I'm still in the experimental mode there's always something going on in New York City yo I'm still experimental mode so I want to be trying new stuff okay and oops love island i don't know whether you watch love island i mean the u.s version What's your favorite obviously cache cache baby today is the finals of love island but i think this video will be will be live somewhere in september i think because i have like a couple videos right in front of her right before this video and i don't know about you but all the stuff that when i was growing up i'm not saying like i'm super growing but like when i was growing up all the stuff i was like mm, mm, all those stuff i ended up i'm and i ended up doing it yo i'm even surprised when i was let's say four three four years back when i see someone with like blush on their cheeks i'm like wait why do you want to be a clown so bad now look at me The clownest clown. I blush more than whoever. Because I feel like it brings some warmth to your skin. To your skin tone. I'm using an eyeshadows color for the blush. This one. Yeah, that's what I'm using. now time for some lashes do you think i should go like natural or like dramatic baby i don't live for men's approval when men will be like oh i don't really like women they're in too much makeup when their lashes like uh, okay that's your preference but drama drama i don't live for men's approval so i'm doing me 
because at the end of the day men are going to be men they'll do them so do you too sweetie be you do you be you huh the men always have something to say i saw this tiktok tiktok video like when, when it's up there you like and it comes down <laughs> i'm going to show the video there's no way that works i got my lash and glue so i'm going to apply a layer of lash glue as close as i can to my lash line let the glue dry a little bit and get my lash ready nothing no i mean it's not perfect but i'm amazed mm -mm. no no didn't work for me Yo, this thing is one of the greatest invention to come because it's a regular pen regular pen right hold on right regular pen and you could use it for eyeliner and eye glue i mean lash glue at the same time like minimal look minimal look with dramatic lashes no eyeshadow and maybe a low highlighter mm, highlighter <laughs> mm. oh my god who remembers i think in 2018 then oh shoot we used to apply so much highlighter, yo. Like so much. I remember. I didn't do no no nose contour. How you all rate? Can you rate this look? Give me okay, rate this look over 10. I'm going to take off my this one. And you rate it over 10. Let me know what you think. One out of ten. With 10 being the highest, how will you rate this look? Okay, maybe wait. Wait for the finished look so you can decide, okay? I told you already, right? I'll be trying new stuff on the channel. I'm still experimenting. I'm still in the experimental stage, okay? Just want to let you know first. And Kiko Milano. Hold on. You see it? Hold on. Kiko. In number two. Hold on. Yo, I hate this. You see it, right? Good. In number two. You could add some clear lip gloss to it. I mean, I think I'm good with this one. I just wish my liner, I am. Um, the liner was a little bit darker. I'll be unraveling my hair. So we see the final look. I'm feeling the lip, yo. Hold on. Ready? What do you think? You feeling it? Ten being the highest. No, I have to go wear earrings. I maybe I'll wear some hoops. No. 
Are we feeling are we feeling this look? Hold on. Let me come closer. Come closer. So you like it right okay thank you so much for watching this video bye